Thanks for tuning in guys. Look at this garden. There's not a lot really I can say. I love my job. I love planting. I love designing gardens. I love Chelmer Valley. I love country supplies. And I mustn't forget Giles for these glorious rocks. Although the guys did hate me for the 450 kilo monster over there that was handballed into the garden. The furniture is actually coming today because a client's having a party tomorrow. Big L-shaped sofa, a Grillo bar. The rest of the Grillo kitchen's gonna be over there on the patio somewhere. Steel edged, southbound gravel. Look at that, little fire pit. They've also got some of those all weather large bean bags that they're gonna cozy up around that fireplace a couple of floating steps onto the deck too many plants to mention if you have a look at our website you'll see written quite some detail it's about 400 plants loads of lights irrigation the pull down projector lots of words really i think i might enter this one into the apl awards and what is very exciting is when you get to do a beautiful garden like this and the clients can see the attention to detail and the work that's gone into it and they say things like hey we love this black paving look at it it's great can it be used for drives of course it can so back to the drawing board and in a couple of months time we'll be back here and they'll have a hundred square meters of this on their drive. I dare say there'll be some beautiful curves and some beautiful planting, some lighting and all sorts of other lovely things. It's actually quite hard to put into words which is my, you know, main focal point of the garden because there's a different vignette that you can appreciate from each element of the gardens. Come in here for a barbecue, for example, and you walk down the side of the house, you open the gate, it's not an oh, you've had your garden done, it's a wow, you've had your garden done. The difference is staggering. And of course, looking from the gate this way, you get the benefit of all the curves, you know, the there isn't anything you can't see. Any of the windows at the back of the house, looking through the doors at the back of the house. In the kitchen, you'll be looking this way. Sat on the deck, you're looking that way. There's, there's not a, hey, let's not video this part of the garden. Well, of course, we don't want to make a big deal out the back here because that's the client's bondu. You know, that's his log store, that's his horticultural area, growing plants, and that's something that he's looking after. So we won't video that, but nevertheless, look at this magnificent garden. We didn't do the paving on this job. Yeah, I would have done it different. I would have had some more curves in to, to match the rest of the design, but you know we came here you've seen the photos before of this is just a barren playground and, and scruffy lawn and the paving existed and the clients were happy with that so it didn't get changed so we've created planting lawn irrigation lighting fire pit area covered outside entertaining space i can't wait to get invited to a party actually this is this is case of champagne worthy i don't have a favorite part of the garden and it's all my favorite part because it's that the holistic view of what we've created here it's it's really cool what is missing is the furniture which is coming today for the big party tomorrow. When we first did the designs, it, it did show this, this sort of raised embankment to this, this higher area of the garden. And it really does give you uh, an elevated seating position up here. And it gives you that sort of feeling of grandeur when you're in this space, you get to overlook the rest of the garden. But I could talk all day about gardens. It's, it's what I do and I, and I love it massively. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.